Can you believe it was just a year ago that we met Entrepreneur? And now we have our second season auditions for Entrepreneur Elevator Pitch. My podcast is getting offers to go onto TV, top five onto iTunes. So many things are happening so quickly. But the key is I don't put artificial pressure on an outcome. I don't attach my happiness to the outcome. What you resist persists. If you understand the technology of the universe and you try to make things happen instead of allow them to happen by providing value and detaching your happiness from that outcome, when you focus in on providing the value for each of these circumstances, everything comes more rapidly and accurately. And this is living proof. I'm here at Entrepreneur Live doing auditions for Elevator Pitch, our second season, bigger and better than ever. Same with the podcast, as well as many other of our business ventures. So detach your happiness from your outcomes, provide value, make the universe fill your void rapidly and accurately. The Rally Cap yeah. Company, mm -hmm. yeah. their dad, they want me to negotiate a license deal. Right. And the dad's on the phone and he said, oh, I used to be a referee in the NBA. And while I'm on the plane, he sends me a few pictures of a referee game when, for the San Diego Clippers. Yeah. Oh, and I'm just like, look, I'm like, holy shit, that's me. I'm sitting, he's running on the court with Bill Walton. Right. I'm sitting under the basket as a ball boy. <laughs> I go, I'm in your picture. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, and all these weird coincidences that's were happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very strange. Hey, hey, how are you? Good, good to see you. Yes. Sorry about this, and we're rushing into this stuff. And I have to tell you, this is the first true talent. I've had a bunch of athletes, you know, we have Apollo Ono, we got football players, but to me, DJ, it, that is a talent. And I have DJ Ski, that's Scott Keeney. And before you start, Scott, I'm gonna tell you something really quick. Um, my cousin, who grew up in my hyper academic family, is a DJ and his dad is a famous doctor and he was like the biggest disappointment ever. And for now, he's in his 40s and I laugh because I think my cousin makes more money than my uncle the doctor and it's like the best revenge ever. Dude, awesome hey, absolute man. Absolute pleasure. Oh dude, you're a stud. Thank you for your time. I gotta run over the studio. Dude, let's hook up. Can you get my card? Yeah, can, can you get my card? I'm your host, James Creech, and today's guest is Dave Meltzer, co-founder and CEO of Sports One Marketing. So how did you get your start? I mean, let's, let's zoom back in time and talk about uh, your early career and how you got started in this crazy world. You know, a lot of people say it's luck. Um, I don't. I think it's a matter of sacrifice and persistence. And so when I graduated law school, I had a choice to be an oil and gas litigator or to work in the internet. So I asked my mom, my trusted advisor, what she thought I should do, and she actually said this to me. She said, you know what? You should be a real lawyer, Dave, because this internet thing, this internet thing is going to be a fad. So how did sports come into the mix? How did you cross over from technology to the sports world? Uh, so in the corporate world, I tried, and, and I, I suggest people do this, you know, people say, oh, it's so hard to get a job in sports. Well, my skill set did not determine the ability to be in sports yet. So when I was in technology, I surrounded myself with sports. I learned the customer side of sports. I hired people to do appearances. They were sports heroes. I went to events and sponsored them, sporting events. I learned the business of sports as a customer. And then as my customer, as I became a bigger and bigger customer, I actually became kind of a name in sports as a customer. I had relationship capital. I had situational knowledge. And then as technology became bigger, I actually met Lee Steinberg without looking for a job, by the way, the most notable sports agency in the world, and I convinced him in 48 hours to make me the chief operating officer of his company based on my situational knowledge of technology and being a customer in sports. I shifted my perspective to enjoying the pursuit of that potential, of staying inspired. What do you guys use and what have you translated from your experience as an athlete to stay inspired every day. I mean, a lot of my drive comes from my pure fear of failure. And so there's, that's what drove me a lot of times in my career to train so insane and do things that other guys weren't willing to do. Over time, I started to understand, not only understand the business, but you have to be okay with 
the small gains and the small victories in order to, to be a, really appreciate the big ones. And we have our fourth judge finally has arrived. Please welcome <laughs> Dave Meltzer. Let's give a big round of applause for the golden ticket winners. Congratulations, everyone. Thank we you. look forward to seeing you on the show.